What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to another Security Breach Theory video. Today, we're going to be having a little... Oh, by the way, Happy New Year. <laughs> I almost forgot to say that. Happy New Year. Hope you had a good Christmas. I uh, hope that you had a great week leading up to New Year, and I hope that you will have a great 2022 if I don't see you after this video. Uh, yeah, another Security Breach Theory video. This one is going to be a little bit of a shorter one, uh, for the reason that it's it's not really a theory, it's basically confirmed. I'm basically just telling the story of the story in Security Breach. But we, we're going to be talking about one little specific minor kind of like plot line uh, in the whole story. We're going to move away from the whole Afton thing and the Vanessa thing. I am going to be doing a video on the tapes very soon. I'm very sorry that that hasn't come out yet. Uh, but we're going to be talking about Glamrock Bonnie today because we know that Glamrock Bonnie may have existed in the past, but uh, doesn't exist now. So I think we should probably start by talking a little bit about the animatronics in Security Breach. As many people have pointed out, they seem to be more sentient than usual. Um, I know we haven't really had many personal interactions with animatronics in the past. Uh, I know they, they have like voice lines where they're like, uh, but we're your family or something like that. I don't know what the voice lines are. I've completely forgotten. I've, lose, I've lost my mind out of the security breach. But like in this one, we get more up close and personal to them, especially Glamrock Freddy. And I know a lot of people, including Matt Pat, believes that Glamrock Freddy may contain the soul of Michael Afton or maybe someone else due to the, uh, the true ending in security breach. So are these animatronics possessed? My personal opinion, I think probably, yeah, I, I prob I, at first I didn't think so, but I'm starting to kind of get used to the fact that they may, they may be possessed. As I say, they are a lot more sentient, uh, self-aware, um, like have their own thoughts and opinions. Of course, Fazbear Entertainment is always ahead uh, in, in terms of technology. So um, yeah, of course they, they could program this kind of sentience, but uh, it's also possible that they uh, have some remnant in them. So speaking about animatronic personalities, we have four main animatronics. Of course, we have Glamrock Freddy, we have Glamrock Chica, we have Roxanne Wolf, and we have Montgomery Gator. Now, all of them have very different personalities. Glamrock Freddy, of course, is very kind and caring, a little bit protective, if you will, a bit like the puppet, I guess. Um, again, I, I, I think people believe that Michael Afton is the soul inside of Glamrock Freddy. Glamrock Chica, she just likes pizza. Let her be. She's also very annoying. Roxanne Wolf is actually probably my favorite out of the four. I don't know, I have, I have to pick between Roxanne and Glamrock Freddy, obviously. But Roxanne is a really cool character, uh, and I really like how she looks uh, when, when we take her eyes out. <laughs> She's, it's actually a very good jump scare, I think. But then we have, uh, <laughs> we have Montgomery Gator, who definitely has some uh, some personality traits and personality traits that you cannot ignore okay this is big <laughs> he's a very big character i think the thing about monty is he wants to be the best okay he wants to be the best out of the bunch he wants to be the face of freddy fazbear's <clears throat> he wants to be the face of fazbear entertainment he wants to be the, the in the limelight basically um he, he wants to be the most famous out of the bunch he wants to be the one that's st the one that sticks out and how do i know this well there's actually two reasons i know this first of all there is monty golf where the last hole is literally monty on stage at the front and freddy in a dumpster <laughs> it's clear that he's dumped freddy here uh <laughs> which is quite it's quite entertaining to, to look at. And then of course we have the runaway ending uh, where Monty is the new face of Fazbear Entertainment, just as we said, and uh, Mr. Hippo is here now. How, how brilliant. I say runaway ending, I mean like the one where Freddy drives and Gregory and Freddy are happy together. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Bonnie. Um, how do we know Bonnie existed in some kind of Glamrock mode or at the Freddy Fazbear's Mega Petaplex? It's very simple, Bonnie Bowl. Um, Bonnie Bowl is uh, is a is a weird location. I think uh, we have to go to it to get the Monty mix or whatever it's called. And when you go in there, there is a stage with closed curtains. It seems like an animatronic has been decommissioned. Um, yeah, it's 
that's that was very strange to me when we first played through it I, it didn't connect in my brain that that might have been bonnie uh because <laughs> we were in bonnie bowl uh it, that just didn't connect in my head and uh when we enter bonnie bowl actually freddy says something very suspicious i do not come up here anymore i miss him yeah he 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 doesn't come up here because he misses Bonnie. Bonnie existed. Bonnie was Freddy's friend. I imagine it like, I guess maybe the main three were like best friends. I guess like Freddy, Chica and, and Bonnie. And then these two came along and ruined the whole thing. <laughs> I, I like that idea. But yeah, what happened to Bonnie then? It, it really seems like we've got two kind of themes going on. Bonnie has been decommissioned for some reason and Monty wants to be the very best, like no one ever was. And there's a way to connect these two, obviously. I think it's pretty obvious what happened, but uh, we're gonna read through three of the duffel bags, uh, of the information from the duffel bags, um, which are the collectibles in the game, which give you a bit of lore. Um, basically, they're, they're very interesting. I have read through all of them. There are 50, I believe. And these are the ones that kind of are the nail in, in the coffin for this this whole theory video. So the first one is called Retheme. Management report the bowling alley needs a retheme. While most of Bonnie's art was removed, kids keep asking, where's Bonnie? Do we have an officially approved response? So obviously, Bonnie's gone. Bonnie Bowl was kept for some reason, and people are asking where Bonnie is. And they don't have a response to that. Where is, where is Bonnie? They probably know where Bonnie is. They probably know that Bonnie was decommissioned for some kind of reason, but they're not going to disclose it. So the second one is called Missing Security Report. 12.24 a.m. Bonnie is seen leaving his green room in Rockstar Row, heading east towards the atrium. 2.40 a.m. Bonnie enters the East Arcade. 4.12 a.m. Bonnie enters Monty Golf. <laughs> you can see where this is going. It's brilliant i love this little subplot and uh it really makes it, it makes security breach feel a little bit more whole um especially when people were kind of upset about the anticlimactic endings and uh, the gameplay and the storyline um i feel like th this is the sort of thing we need but that's very interesting bonnie had his own green room so it kind of begs the question was monty even there before i i'm assuming either there were five green rooms in Rockstar Row, or maybe Monty was moved, like, like after Bonnie was decommissioned, Monty was moved from just Monty Golf to the green rooms as well, because he became a star animatronic. I'm assuming that's something that kind of happened. And then we have our final duffel bag, uh, which is uh, <laughs> quite important to listen to. Understudy, management report, with Bonnie out of commission, we are making Monty the new bass player. Uh, parts and service has already done the proper adjustments. This could be a good thing. Monty could be even more popular than Bonnie. So I, th I think my theory there kind of comes more into um, into reality, um, where kind of Monty was originally just like the star of Monty Golf, uh, and then he was moved to the main stage and a performer. Um, so yeah, I, I really like this whole subplot here. Um, there's one more question that I, I do want to touch on because a lot of people have been asking this in my comments or making comments about this. When I was making the video about the ending of Security Breach, uh, the, the fire and uh, FNAF 6 location being underneath the Pizzaplex, um, I mentioned that Afton is designed inconsistently. I mean, he, he always has been. Uh, if you look at Springtrap to Scraptrap, uh, that's very inconsistent uh, and now Scrapchap is turning into Burn Trap and suddenly has his arms back. Um, how do you explain that? Well, a lot of people said in my comments that it could be Afton could have used Bonnie's parts and I mean, I'm okay with that theory. It's okay if you believe that. I personally don't fully believe that. I feel like there's another explanation. Obviously, he's been draining power from the Pizzaplex down below in the uh, in the pizza place um, so I'm not too sure if Afton's arms coming back uh, are, are actually Bonnie's arms of course there are inconsistency like bon Bonnie and Afton's arms 
aren't really the same, I don't think. Uh, I don't think that's where this kind of goes. Um, I feel like the, the plots are very different, like, to, to be separated. But also, I feel like Bonnie is actually behind the curtains in that stage. They never removed him. Uh, and, uh, so yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know, but I, I don't think that is what happened. Uh, uh, that would be kind of a weird, weird plot. And there's no, there's not really any evidence for it either. Anyway, um, <laughs> so uh, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, comment down below what you guys think about Glamrock Bonnie. Uh, do you think that Glamrock Bonnie was used to uh, kind of re to give Afton rebirth, um, or or, did, or was Afton reborn in some other way? Um, <laughs> do you have any other opinions on Montgomery Gator now that security breaches come out? Is he a bit of a douchebag? I think so. But anyway. I hope that you have a great first week of 2022 and uh, I've been Ozone and I have to go Zone. See you later. Goodbye.